TLO was pop. Sure, I ain't got no booger in my nose. Uh, we are on kick, K I C K dot com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if we do go live and you happen to miss this or any of the highlights will be this channel above or next to me, whatever you want to call it. Uh, don't forget we do got the merch. Go cop something, man. Uh, and this is the Patreon. This is everything that's currently on there and then the, that we've watched in the past. Uh, yeah, let's just get to this, man. This is Police Hour of Duty. 2023 season five episode three there's no new police intercept there's no new traffic cops i don't know what was going on with that uh you know so you know the show must go on i need some police stuff right yeah so someone's trying to get into your house and stab you okay do you know who it is there's smoke coming from where right you need to tell me what's happening to get a police response what is happening He's robbed you of a thousand pound. Firearms units, move across to FA1, please. Firearms units to FA1. Okay, okay. Hello, please, please. Yeah, what's happening? A young woman in this flat, she's got children, and this young girl's just been and took bricks through a window. With a hammer? With a hammer. The kids are crying. There's a bloke in the flat shouting that he couldn't care less if she's got kids, and he's not nice. Okay, and what did you say about the hammer? Uh, a girl, she just went up, there's a guy shouting. That was the same headphones as I got, just noticed. Hammer the window. Same brand. I don't know if he's inside the flat or he's outside. Okay, we'll get to the out as we can. It's very good for hearing sounds, all sounds, like it unmuffles stuff, like it's they're good. So just en route to a report of a disturbance, female with a hammer, trying to attack another female. We don't know how they're going to react, especially when they mention of someone with a weapon. They could be. Why they got the Walker's Chips symbol up here? Like, what's going on? It's annoying. Be drunk, they could obviously be angry, could be under the influence of any drugs. So, we just don't know at the moment. You know, we don't know if when we turn up, we're going to inflate, inflate the situation, or they're going to take the anger out on us. But we'll see. Hopefully we'll get there before anyone gets hit with the hammer. It's the last thing we want. I've got a taser, uh, which would obviously be deployed to people with weapons. But if certainly someone with a knife or a, a, a hammer or a metal bar of any sort, then I'd be looking to go straight to taser, uh, just to get that immediate incapacitation. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly if they come towards us. Right, right. Police have been told the suspect smashed the windows victims okay. on social media. The windows have all been smashed. So we've got three panes that have all been attacked. I think they've all, the whole panes have gone through. We've seen a picture of the offender, so uh, we'll go and see if we can locate her and she'll be arrested for criminal what, damage. What address did you say she's at? Yeah, there's one around the corner. We're all going on mass because there's about seven and we don't like it. They're in Corona? Hello? Hello. Can you just take the chain off the door a minute? I can't, because I've got mental health issues and I'm suffering from COVID symptoms. OK, sorry. Okay. Is anyone in, in the address with you? Um, no, it's just me on the tenancy agreement. You can check that. Hey, what's the voices I can hear upstairs? Obviously, that's just my that's just my friend, but she lives here. Yeah, we're going to have to check, because the information we've had is that she's in here. <laughs> You need to let us in because we're going to end up putting the door in if you don't let us in. You need to let me shut the door. I, I'm not going to shut the door. Okay. You open the door and we're all going to force entry. Three Your seconds. choice. Stop messing about. Last chance. Thank you. The sister's brother is probably another officer. Walk away. Why is it? That's why she's back. Walk away. Keep away from why she's back. Walk away. I've got rights as a human being. Get out of his face and step back. Don't touch me. Get out of his face. I've got rights 
No, you touch me again. You touch me again. I'm talking to you. Touch me again. PC 15322. Touch me again. And I'll break ya. Yeah, alright, mate. Yeah. Touch me again. You're obstructing me. Stop walking. Member of society. You can't. That boy is this big. Talking about, you touch me again. You touch me again. You ain't gonna do nothing. He did. He pushed you. He did nothing. That's I tough. pay my taxes. Stop. No, suck your mum. You suck your mum. You can come for drunk and disorderly if you carry on. I'm sober. You know. I'm a lawyer by his face. Walk away. You walk away. I pay off your wages. <laughs> the suspect has been arrested. They got her hemmed up. Yeah, they have done nothing wrong. Can you not go with me? No. no. You've been arrested on suspicion of criminal oh, damage. <laughs> What am I doing? That bad. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> to what we're going to say. I did nothing wrong. Quiet. What... I did nothing wrong. You <sighs> see what social media be doing to people? Listen, if you can't handle social media, get off here. Get off of here. Social media should not make you this angry. Like, let be calm, be cool, shorty. You, you pulled up to old girl crib. If she's arguing with you online, she's obviously not about that life anyway. So don't even waste your moments of breath because you're going to be over there. Oh, I'm going to show you who's real. I'm going to show you who's real. I'm going to show you who's really going to jail. <laughs> you going to jail. I call in the police is what Shorty said. Now look at you. Arms behind your back all off lopsided like, man, chill. It's a bad look. You're making me mad. Yes, yes, you've got one out female under arrest for the criminal damage. We've got a male that's being quite anti with us at the moment. So, you're a muff here, you're a muff here. Well, Go and leave the two. All you need to do is don't walk away. Me. Don't touch my wife, bud. Just leave. Don't touch my wife, Just leave. No. You've got, I don't have to. You've got no reason to be here. You've got no reason to be here for what? We've arrested somebody. Yeah. We're dealing with that situation. Yeah. I've done nothing wrong. Let's get you in the back of the van. Oh, We're in the back of the van. I've not done nothing. Oh, no Does he make you happy? <laughs> Does he make you happy? Not at all. I'm just searching your pockets. Get off me! Just get off me! I'm just searching. What? Yeah. I've done nothing. Yeah. Come yeah. yeah. on, mate. Yeah. Watch, Watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> what? I don't think I never watched this version of the show. Yeah. It's the same. Very good. Is that what sets you up? Oh, maybe. Once, maybe. Go ahead. I'm not gonna leave, lie. Like, is this gonna stay here the duration of the show? This the Lay's chip thing? Great. The Walker's top, chips? Bottoms, three right, quarters. we're gonna get him then. Police have been informed that the suspect's brother, who confronted the police earlier, may have been involved in that. Mm. So, when we spoke to the victim, she said that a male took the big hammer off the female. Started running around with it, saying that it was going to uh, smash up the uh, the victim. Go ahead. He's walking out towards the main road, 99% on clothing. Who are they with? They've got him, I think. They've found him? Yeah. So they've got a male arrested who had the hammer, took the hammer off. Just get up and Step back, step back. I wasn't involved in that, and I just got a No, I just got a sword. What did I do? Walk. I don't know. Does y'all don't know how the police work, bro? If you get into it with somebody, whoever calls the police first is the person that the police is gonna ride with. So even if you if if you get assaulted. And your assaulter calls the police first. They're gonna believe the assaulter first. They're gonna believe the assaulter. Whatever they say, they gonna roll with that. <laughs> so you cannot be involved at all. But if she say you was, you was. I won't. Hours of duty. Was that just the intro? What was that? Police have arrested male what? suspect possessing. I'm assistant. not doing nothing wrong. I'll go around the back and open the door. Yeah, no, they're going to bring him up. Are you fucking mad? 
Fuck off! Right, we need to calm down so we can safely. This is a this is a bridge of right, human rights. Sit still. Yeah. There we go. The male has been arrested for possession of an offensive weapon. He's not liked it. We don't actually know where the hammer is now, so it's a, the likelihood is that someone's um, took the hammer and stashed it somewhere. So, but even if we don't get it, uh, we'll have the statement from the witness, um, and that'll give us the evidence we need for a uh, prosecution to uh, to go ahead. You just don't know how people act when they're drunk. You might get someone that's really placid and really friendly when they're drunk but then you can get other people that can just be completely the opposite and just be so aggressive. On this occasion, it looks like... I feel like I'm both. It depends on the situation. It can go zero from a to 100 real quick. But that's just in real life as well. But I just, when I'm not drunk, I just have more patience. When I'm drunk, the patience is thin, but I'm the same way, drunk or sober. I'm real cool, but then like, cool, laid back, funny. But then they can get there. <laughs> this girl's been drinking and has become violent with it, not happy about being slagged off on Facebook. And she's obviously decided to go around and smash the window. So it just shows that one person can be friendly uh, and the other can just go complete opposite and start getting weapons out and start attacking people's property. Possible chance I could speak to my mum just to let her know that I'm alright. My mate's gonna put you in a second, he'll sort it out with you. No worries. They're lying, they never let you. Police were informed that his ex partner was sent a video um, showing a, fi a potential viable firearm um, with some threatening messages attached to it. So he's been arrested for that to prevent harm. Um, oh, I'm trying to say. Never show any, never th send threats on, on through text. Or... She's vulnerable. No, we say that when anything. Oh, can I say? You know, have you ever met her? Domestic violence, anything Listen, related to domestic violence. It's, it's not uh, domestic, she's not my partner, so. The Public Prosecution Unit investigates. Yesterday the afternoon, we received a, uh, a call from a healthcare professional after a young lady uh, had been to a doctor's and she'd been having some threats from her ex partner. So she received this via Facebook Messenger. Let me get your man round you. I'm gonna fucking put an all in him with that. Watch, I'm not fucking playing. Damn, we got a desert eagle? What are you? You got a D eagle? Games no more. And you, yeah, I'm gonna fucking that what put that an all in him with that. Watch, I'm not fucking. Bro, where did he get a desert eagle from? <laughs> playing games no more. The warrant was sworn out for his arrest, and firearms officers executed that warrant. When they searched the address, they found. This imitation firearm in a black case. Oh, imitation. With red clasps. I think it's, I think we're quite happy to say that that is probably the same firearm. It's classed as a blank firing pistol, which is legal to own, but it's not something to be used to, to cause fear or intimidate anybody else. The ex partner. It kind of looked like a Desert Eagle, but Desert Eagle is all metal. Black chrome, black and chrome. I thought they had paid that mug. Look real though, low key. Is when they got up closer, though, it kind of looked fake. Quite well known to us. He's got some previous, so he shouldn't have possession of that firearm. Nah, that mug look real, bro. Yo. The victim is not willing to provide her evidence That's crazy. at this time. So we are looking at an evidence led prosecution. I will be looking to try and progress it to the point of remand due to obviously the, the dangers he poses towards the victim. So, obviously, the plan going forward is to interview the suspect. We need to ideally get him to say that he has had possession of that firearm, he knows of it. OK? Yeah. He better no comment. Oh, dear. Yeah, the men are getting some exercise and have a lot on the way back, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 
understand it's a bit serious, but I don't understand why it takes so long to get me into interview. Nick, I don't know. We don't get involved that time. I know, I know, I know you don't. Me and my ex-partner, who was basically living in each other's pockets. And you know what? She's nothing short of amazing. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of trouble all my life. To be fair, this is the first time in my life I've tried to keep my head down properly. And that's trouble to do it. <laughs> If you were a victim being sent that, you could believe that it was um, real. Very keen to keep him in custody. Don't want her to feel unsafe in her own home because of him. That's crazy. I'll head over to custody now. It's quite difficult to get a victimless prosecution through CPS and the courts so we'll do our best to get him prosecuted without her support. Returning from a raid in the suspected drug dealer's address. Okay. And we have got somewhere in the region of 20 exhibits seized from the address. We'll see what that uncovers. I mean, these, are, these are treasure trove of information. Five hours earlier. So this came through to be UK Border Force interception of seven and a half kilograms worth of cannabis from Coventry Airport, bound for an address in Derbyshire. They've opened the package up and it, within this box, there's tins of dog food, puppy meal supplement, which have been packed quite tightly of, of cannabis with some coffee on top, which I imagine is to hide the scent, and hide, hide the scent of, of cannabis. So the estimated street value is gonna be around 50,000 pounds from what I've worked out so far. I've not come across anything of this magnitude coming into Derbyshire since I've been working here. Mm. And if you... They're moving like the cartel right now. They're moving like this. Like, they, like the style of trans transit. I've never had anything this size, no. The organized crime unit are planning to raid the address of the mail the packages were being sent to. Good afternoon, everybody. This happened to one of uh, somebody I know. They had a package delivered to them. Um, the police, but they let it go through. They didn't stop it. Or they stopped it like this. Like they stopping it now. But then they fake delivered it. And then when he accepted the package, they got him. Ran in his crib. Please! So the intention today is to, again, just to the says we're going to use a rapid entry. Any, any persons inside are obviously going to be arrested for being concerned in the supply of controlled drugs. There's no warning marks on the persons at the address. We're looking for any devices that are capable of holding data uh, that might link him to the purchase or the attempted importation of this, uh, of this cannabis. Thank you. Walking into the address, it's it's concerning that we don't know exactly who these people are, what their capabilities are. Oh, wish it luck. With drugs of that scale and that value, you know, £50,000, it suggests that it's, it's more of a sophisticated chain. The thing is, it could be part of a sort of a larger OCG group um, distributing even to like Derby or into like the local community. It's a very affluent town, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not, it's not normally or wouldn't be generally thought of as a hotbed for no, not for drugs. drugs. People with lots of money. And maybe this is why he's, he's not been picked up or not been located at, like any sooner, because he is flying under the radar, because he is doing it in a, in a community that's maybe a bit more unsuspecting than in a more urban setting. These places might look normal on the outside, but it could be second doors that we need to get through that might slow us down. We have to be on guard with any potential hostility that we might be faced with. We have to do it quickly so that evidence doesn't get lost. No flushing, they said. Oh, 
I'll rush in first and wait on door. I'll go in first. This is y'all too? Three, Three, two, 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 three, two, two, three four. Four. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. The organized crime unit are unexpected. Oh, they execute the warrant. Officers! Hey, Police in the Show yourself, mate. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Come down here for me, mate. Is there anyone else in here? Yes, someone upstairs. Police! Sit down there, mate. This time you're under arrest, okay? We're being concerned to supply of cannabis. You don't have to say anything. The main army defence didn't mention. When questioned something later on in court. Then if you do say, maybe get an evidence. Just put your hands across for me. Mate, I'm going to give you a quick search. Is there anything on, on you that's going to hurt me? I always wonder why they do their cuffs like this. That should look like it hurt. OK, my friend, I've got a car waiting outside, so we're going to go and pop you in the vehicle, and we'll get you up to Derby, all right? No, follow my colleague out the door, please. Just stay nice and calm for us, all right? OK. You've been arrested on suspicion of being concerned in the supply. Who's that? That's yes. it, mind your head. Watch your head. It's a positive result. We've got the drugs from before, and now we've got two people in custody. Searching the property, and um, we've got plenty of officers here to do that. We've got a dog that speeds our work up immensely. Little lassie. Price it, price list. Probably a dealer's list. The male that we arrest has got the ability to say quite easily that he's got no knowledge of this package whatsoever. He could say that someone's put his name on it, his address on it, they've sent it to him as a joke, they've sent it to him for True. whatever reason. Being able to intercept any evidence at the address that would link them to that supply is crucial. Where's the dog? She's upstairs. <laughs> the dog is doing its own I've thing? I've been up in the attic, so there is um, ladders. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Good. There's evidence of um, like growing equipment in the attic. So 16 of those lamps, two strip lamps, and then a filter. Is there any signs anywhere else of a previous grain? The dog's quite interested in the back garden. It's certainly turning upside down. Have you had a look in here already? No, not yet. What is going on here? Ah, there it is. You've been converted into a cannabis grape. Well, there you go, he's had a clear out. Quite a professional setup. It's got a CCTV camera in here. Has it? trying to use the bathroom. There is uh, evidence of hydroponics, that's someone potentially growing uh, for cannabis. I think there's some laptop computers as well, so they'll all be being seized. We need to get back and make an assessment of what we've got. It's all about putting everything together and hoping that at the end of it, we've got a case that we can take to court. to interview, you try and sort of anticipate what they might say, what they might not say, and generally it, it never turns out how you expect it to. You With know? a job like this one, it was really important that 
got a good outcome for the victim. You are under arrest on suspicion of possessing a firearm or imitation firearm with intent to cause others to fear unlawful violence being used against them. Can I just say something? So I've not threatened nobody with no firearm. I've not done, for, for one, I've not got a firearm in my, in my property. There was a blank firing starter pistol. Do your research, sweetheart. And I've definitely not threatened <laughs> my ex missus. Mm -hmm. So that's all I've got to say on okay. that. Okay. Tell me about her. She's fucking amazing. Right. Send off. Best thing that ever happened to me. If she's amazing, where did it go so wrong? <sighs> no comment. Do you think she's ever felt threatened by you? No comment. There you go. Do you think she's scared of you? No comment. Look at you two little fairies trying to wind me up about me. It's Mrs. Love. It's been... I'm not trying to wind you up. Yeah, you are. Got you know what you're doing. Got better things than that to do. Just gonna show you a video. Listen, let me catch a man round you. I'm gonna fucking put an hole in him with that watch. I'm not fucking playing game. He didn't threaten the missus. He threatened her man. He ain't lying. He is not lying in that room. He said, I got a starter pistol, blank firing pistol, blank pistol. And I never threatened my missus. Those are two truths. He said he's threatening his man, her man. No more. Do you recognise that voice? It doesn't sound like me. It doesn't sound nothing like me. It sounds quite a lot like you. <laughs> You're going to say that. You sat up beside it. That's, it doesn't even sound like me. Do you reckon that doesn't sound like you? No. These are all photos that have been taken from your house. Right. That work top there is the same as the one that's in the video. The box looks exactly like that. I'm not saying that it doesn't. The one that's been recovered from your house. Not only that, the work top's not the same as yours. Why are you slamming the papers? What were those comments made on that video all about? No comment. No oh, idea what you're on about, officer. No comment. From that video, do you think you'd be able to tell that was a blank firing pistol? No comment. Yeah, you're not getting it. You're not Did you intend getting to any. Kill it? No what? comment. Putting it out there, asking the question. No Shut comment. Up. Foul mouth. No, I did not intend to kill you. Okay. No comment. She is absolutely petrified of you. She's got no reason to be. I would blow my own head off for that woman. Do you think that she's been cheating on you and you've then lost your temper and sent that video out of anger? No comment. Because to me, you seem very passionate about the woman. No comment. Love and passion can cause... She definitely knows what she's doing now. She Now she's trying to strike that nerve. She to do things that you later regret. No comment. Let me tell you, nothing to do with me. Didn't send no videos. Okay. You've got fuck all. That's all I've got to say. Why did you put a timer on there? Oh, that's the ex that's the time. So twenty one is what a ten, nine. Top desk incident ten thirty nine. Suicidal chap gone from hospital. So who, who is she actually? Right, just try and calm down. Who is she trying to assault? When he says attack you, what way? This happens. Delta 1 November, Delta 1 Oscar, just to confirm, entry slip, debris and fuel all over the road, airbags deployed. I hate calling the police, man. I, I, I've never done it except like, maybe you will. We've had a report that um, there's been a one vehicle RTC. And I was young. It's gone straight into a lamppost. If it's a high speed impact, it's going to a lamppost, airbags deployed. Someone could be badly injured. They possibly could have been drinking. So we'll look for signs of that when we get there. It's a fast moving road, we might have to put a stop on the carriageway. You know what? No, I called the ambulance. And police came. Oh, shit. Same number. If 
I'm in a car accident, the last people I want to see is the police pull up. I ain't even going to lie to you. I need emergency response. I need the ambulance. If I see flashing lights and somebody walks up to me and asks me anything other than, <laughs> are you still with us? Or, or I don't know what the ambulance be asking. I don't want to hear nothing but ambulance talk. Look, look at the impact that's had. Damn. He's not going to fall over. It's a concrete pole, too. Hello, sir. Hey, yeah. are you all? You all right? Yeah. What's happened, mate? I've just overrun it and, like, spun it out. Have you got any injuries or anything? Uh, Apart from a bit shaky? A little bit. What's a little bit? In my leg, my right leg. I don't think it's that bad. Nothing to drink? You got anything to drink? Uh, okay, well, I'm going to best lie you. Okay. Is this your car? See? That's so, what I don't want to hear. Put your mouth around that and keep going to say. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Perfect. I would have told him my ribs, my lungs, I'm having trouble breathing. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. Simple. Ah! I would have. Ah! We just misjudged the corner and gone straight into the lamppost at speed. I mean, it's strong enough to knock a solid steel lamppost out of the ground, lift up the concrete. Oh, steel. Steel. And I think that lamppost on there potentially be going over the 50 foot drop onto a live 70 mile an hour to your carriageway. Right, mate, I have to let you know that you failed your breath test, okay? So at this time, you're under arrest for suspicion of drink driving. What about your leg? Sorry, I feel really fucking embarrassed about the fact that this is a major junction and I take this junction like every day so it's like the last, it? thing, the last thing you want is somebody to be being a knob and I know I'm totally in the wrong here and I've fucked up massively. I've felt like I'm an absolute rotten criminal now. Yeah, yeah buddy. You messed up here. Talk about a little bit. He seems to be a nice guy, says he's never been arrested, never been in trouble. Um, really apologetic. Today's your day. He's not socialised with and he's just made a really stupid decision. Because the airbags have gone off, um, because it's a high speed collision, we have to take him to the hospital. He's blown 82 on the roadside breathalyzer, which indication is. 82, three um, times. At least four times over the limit. Four times. Legally, drink drive limit. Right. You right to climb up there? Yeah. Can you? That's three yeah, times, isn't it? That's fine. It really worries me that he's got kids' toys and a booster seat in the boot and like swimming goggles and he's clearly a full time dad. Um, imagine the kids have been in the car. No airbags in the back of that car. I hate the hypotheticals that they be bringing up. Imagine the kids. Bro, what time? First of all, it's 21, it's to almost 10 p.m. Why would the kids be in the car? They sleep. Man's came out to have a few drinks, then get back to his kid. That's a dumb hypothetical. I get it; it's drama, dramatic, but like, come on. Bro. Oh, I think you—you you, you don't feel like in the it's minute. Almost midnight. Like in the morning. Sheriff Victor Eight Five, confirm location. Okay, they just reciting what he was doing in there for. Why was a firearm found at your address? No comment. You didn't find a firearm in my property. Okay. My friend left a blank firing pistol in my address. Right. If it belongs to your mate, why was it at your house? Because he called in. When? Four. No Wait. comment. So it's been at your address for weeks? Oh, yeah. yeah that's why it was just sat in the pantry. So this, you said, was in your pantry. So, are you agreeing that it was in your possession? Yeah, it was in my house, yeah. You know it was. Your argument would be that stop being a dick. dick. So there's no need to have that attitude with us, I'll give you an attitude in a minute, mate. Don't start getting lippy with me. I'm not getting lippy right? with you. This, this is have, an interview this will have to less. try and get you, to the bottom. Your colleague sat here not saying you've got firearms, you've got firearms. When I've not had a firearm. But it was in your house. Listen, have you got a forensic department? Go and fingerprint the fucking thing. True. I ain't never touched it. Who does that iPhone belong to? No Is that your iPhone? No so there's some 
interesting messages on on this so i'll start with the first one i'm coming up i know you've been with someone i'm gonna shoot him further messages let me tell you he's a dead man you rat i'm blasting both of you what does oh, blasting yeah. both of you mean i have no idea officer no comment and then the next message is watch i'm killing you both Wow. It's going to be on the news, this shit. Have you sent those messages? No. If you haven't, who has? I'm going to give a crystal ball out. Okay. Um, <laughs> she said know. okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, when was this meant to happen? You tell me. I, you're the investigating officer, sweetheart, so I was just wondering. You gave me a date. I wasn't really listening, to be fair. When was it meant to have happened? I've told you why. But obviously I've not done nothing. Okay. You've got fuck all. You're a very, very angry man. I'm far from angry. Listen, okay. I am far from angry. I'm mm. pissed off. You've uh, clearly got an issue with women. Oh, oh, I do apologise. Are, are you being a bit angry there, sweetheart? No. It's fucking jokers. No comment. You've sat there and you've made me out to be some monster. It'll come out, it was, it always does. What will? The truth. Okay, so I will conclude this interview. Oh. Her resting face is crazy. She couldn't come across. Her face never once changed. If y'all watched the interview back, her face looked exactly the same the entire time. An intimidating person. Just by his demeanor, very angry. If something upset him or a comment was made that he didn't like, I could imagine that he would erupt. I'm leaving that interview feeling like that victim is at some real risk from him. I hope we can get him remanded for the victim's sake. five years old out in his pyjamas on a 50 mile an hour road. No adults in sight. She's kicked off the door. Is it completely off of its hinges? Stop engaging with her. I've asked you a few times. You're just going to make it worse, OK? Why do they want to kill your partner? It's just obviously I've never had people outside my flat shouting that they're going to want to kill me. Police emergency. I hate when they be trying to, you know what I'm saying, relate to what's going on. We are not the same. I don't care who has been and been not and not been in the outside of your flat. You know what I'm saying? Two gentlemen. That's what that says. In the, two gentlemen in the store and they're a bit inebriated. So, and they're a bit inebriated. Yeah. Um, basically, one of them bent over and the police told me that he's got a knife in the back of his pants. Dan was about four inches long. Okay, all right, leave that with me. I'm going to get officers out straight away on blue light. There's two males got into a store. They're very drunk. One has a knife in his pocket. The handle is four inches long, so potentially quite a large blade. There's two of the males. There is that risk that we'll approach them, they'll see us and then pull knives. Anything involving a knife is going to carry a high degree of risk. Um, potentially loss of life. It looks like these two European males, um, one Caucasian, dressed in all black, with a black face or package for the red. We're just going into McDonald's at the minute in the store. I think you're always very acutely aware that you are going to someone with a weapon that could quite easily kill you. If we don't deal with it, no one's going to deal with it. And I have no doubt that some of the people that we take knives off, if we hadn't done that, they would have used them at some point down the line. Oscar Foxtrot units are coming with us, so firearms are going to back up. This is a good show, but there's a lot of like talking on it. Um, police interceptors is better than this. Alright, I'll 
It's always going down at McDonald's. Please show me your hands. Yeah, it's alright. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. You literally do that. Yeah. There's a report, mate. We're just detaining him. There's a report that you've got a knife in your back pocket. So we're just detaining him at the moment. Have you got anything in your back pocket? Uh, he just got into a fight too. Just, yeah. What is it? It's just so my because I. Down his draws is crazy. Down the whitey tighties is wild. Down the briefs. Right in the crack, too, is wild. Moving different. Okay, this time you're under arrest. You're under arrest on suspicion of uh, possession of a bladed article in a public place. It's a kitchen knife. He came to cut produce. And I don't send you one bro. I've got this male detained arrested. Steak. Oh my god, this is, this is You going to jail? Don't know what his intentions are. This will come in part of the interview process and you know you need to have a valid excuse for having it. Uh, a lawful reason. I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry, man. I'm really I sorry. To apologize, man. Well, I know you're gonna fucking fuck me up. You're the one walking around with a bloody knife. Well, somebody's telling you that they're gonna kill you, man. No, right, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll talk to you about it in an interview, won't we? Uh, right. When you've had a time to sober up a little bit. I just wanna reflect myself. I think this chap just wasn't aware that you couldn't carry a knife in self defense in the UK. It doesn't matter if. You're scared for your life. You can't walk out on the streets with a kitchen knife. You're scared. You're committing that offence. If you're scared for your life, go to church is what the UK tells you. <laughs> Literally. You can't protect nothing. He, that man just said in the UK, even if you're scared for your life, you cannot defend, you cannot carry a knife in self-defence or to defend yourself. That sounds crazy to me, huh? In a public place. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's been so yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. We're a bigger shirt. There's no lawful excuse. Yeah, it's not like he's chef and he's taking his own his knife home to sharpen or he's a joiner and he's got a Stanley knife. The smallest of knives can cause the most horrendous injuries and obviously deaths. You can see more and more people carrying knives now. Uh, and quite scarily at a young age another knife off the street anyway. Literally another kitchen knife off the street that he can go purchase at Asda again. Allegedly. Police are examining evidence seized from an earlier drug raid. These two box knife phones which they've said they're old phones and they're just in boxes found memory stick upstairs so we've got that you get a lot of scales is it seven seven scales yeah a deal book both of the arrested persons have given their explanation of what's it, what they know of this allegation which is essentially denying it so the phones potentially can use to show that they've accessed the website that these drugs have come from or spoken to somebody who's been concerned in getting this package over to them these are all pieces that you put together and all points towards the same things. He's obviously within that world. But disrupting higher up the chain is more important than the low level because there's, you know, these the people that we've arrested, I believe, would be ten a penny. Yeah. They'd just find somebody else that's willing to do the dirty work. Taking out sort of medium to higher level members, if we can do, is what's going to be crucial in, you know, stopping this particular drug ring. Natalie, I'm a detective at Derbyshire Police. Hey, Natalie. Yep. We have a domestic incident. Ex-partner has um, threatened victim over Facebook Messenger and has sent her a video of a firearm. 
making threats. Now, downside, victim doesn't support. It's difficult to get a victimless prosecution through CPS. So the worst case scenario would be CPS won't charge and then he would potentially have to be released. So what's, what is the case then? If you look at these scene photographs as well, it's the same work top. Yeah. I really do hope that CPS will feel that we have enough to, to charge. The UK be wild. I do fear be hard to get a charge. victim safety if he's not charged and remanded in custody. Fabulous. Did she just do this? Yes, thank you, bye. Three charges. Possess imitation firearm with intent to cause fear. Yeah. Possesses ammunition when disqualified for life. Yeah. And possesses cannabis. The, he said there's no point in charging threats to kill okay. because of the severity of the yeah. intent to cause fear. It wouldn't add anything on sentencing wise. So no. Cracking. Bit of a result. Boy, I'm gonna be sick with you and get them charged. He might beat them though in court. I'm just giving you a call to give you an update, really. We have gone to the Crown Prosecution Service and they've authorised that it's charged with three offences, so it'll be kept tonight and be put before the court tomorrow. Yeah. He's with us, he's gonna stay with us overnight. Alright, take care. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. is really satisfying when um, someone like the victim for this crime is clearly really scared. She looked like um, somebody. And we have managed to get a charge without actually very much evidence from her at all. Okay, break the news to him. Charged with the offences shown on screen. You had in your possession an imitation firearm with intent by the means thereof to cause to believe that unlawful violence would be used against her or another. You had in your possession a quantity of cannabis. Do you understand all that, kid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I'm actually my family, please, and so. Yeah, I'll, I'll swallow that for you. This is the second time he asked, <laughs> hours ago. It was the first time. Um, all right, Mum, it's me. I hope you're all right um, and not stressing too much and relaxing. Um, basically, I'm in court in the morning and I need some clothes, some socks, boxers and stuff because I'm not coming home for a while. Uh, but, yeah, I love you um, and I'll speak to you as soon as I can. Um, just keep your chin up. I'll get through it, you know. Well. It's important to me is that the victim is the one Sayonara. at the end of all this who is hopefully going to be able to ultimately heal. Ultimately, they'll get out of this circle of abuse with this suspect and be able to go on and live their lives. Um, hopefully, putting this in the in the sort of the back of their mind. Probably one of the most stressful roles that. Um I've done within the police, but it's it's so worthwhile when you get a result like that. She be getting turned on by locking people up. <laughs> if it was a machete, it's not got any blood on it or anything. This is next time. Nah, we don't watch next time. See you, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.